What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Dark Aether series here on my second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from Cam saying he wants to get the Street Sweeper done here in multiplayer. So that's what we're we'll gonna be doing today. And if you want to leave a suggestion for what weapon you want to see us do next, make sure you leave a comment down below. Uh, we've completed the QBZ, the MAC 10, and we're completing the Street Sweeper today. So anything but those is on the table. And really quick, our build for this, I'm using the duck bill choke, the extended barrel, the SWAT 5 milliwatt laser sight, the 15 round drum. I can probably do the 18, but I'm using the 15 because with this blueprint, uh, Dark Aether actually covers it and I don't get to use Dark Aether that often. So I wanted to see more of it, uh, but 18 probably preferred. And then I'm using the wire stock as well. And for our camos here, we already have 200 eliminations with it. So spray is all complete for stripes. We're just missing three more headshots. Classics all done because I'm a pro. Geometric, our long shots are all complete as well. Flora, we need four more kills while enemies are detected, stunned, whatever. Uh, science, we still need about 13 point blank kills and psychedelics done as well. So actually not that much to do today, but I was talking so much trash on this gun last week and the people that use it uh and i'll, I'll get into that more once we hop in game but but here's the class if you're curious i'm running stun grenade tomahawk field mic flag jacket gearhead gung-ho gung fire wild card you guys know the deal probably use something different but i really don't care but let's go ahead and hop and face off and get this thing done all right we've made it in game also i forgot to show i have the sack here on the street sweeper if i would turn it over there we go but the reason i left so little camos to do for the street sweeper here today is because one, I did not plan ahead very well and I was not paying attention to what camos I was doing. I was kind of like blindly doing it. And two, I've made the discovery that I'm hot dog ass at this game. I am absolutely abysmal on controller. I was talking all kinds of shit last week or in our last episode. I don't know how far apart these episodes are going to be. I was talking all kinds of shit on people that use this, how it's so mindless. It's so easy. You kind of just point and click in the direction. And I, I still hold that point. But that doesn't mean I'm good with it. Because <laughs> if this was keyboard or mouse, you best believe I'm dropping like 80 kills. Here on controller, it feels like I have like newborn baby legs as thumbs and I can't control them properly. You would think after like playing zombies on controller for a full year, basically, and you know, getting Dark Aether on it, that I would be kind of decent at multiplayer. Well, you would think wrong. I don't feel like the, the movement in zombies accompanied with my like handicap of using Deadshot really helped me out for multiplayer at all because i probably played i don't know like three and a half maybe four hours of just trying to grind camos for this thing and i could not get point blanks to save my life uh the long shots actually came pretty easily because i've been playing hardcore here but like every other camo it seemed like i don't know i just couldn't get anything done i was just getting fucked up like i was getting messed up bad so luckily this is only our our third weapon we've done so far on controller uh going for dark matter here so hopefully uh, there's room for improvement. If I stay this awful throughout the rest of the series, it's going to be a struggle. But man, this is a rude awakening. I've been like kind of cocky playing some of these games thinking like, yeah, I mean, I can just hop in here and get this done, whatever. But I have so much work to do on getting better at controller. Like, it's actually absurd how bad I am. But as I get like a seven times right now, but that doesn't mean shit with this gun. If I'm doing well with it. It's like, oh yeah, it's the gun. If I'm doing bad with it, I'm ass. Like that, those are the only two options here. So I figured that little minimal amount of camos we have left to do, like a total of 25 kills if we get all like the, the challenges right. Probably is going to take me a few games here and it's not going to be pretty. Oh, wait, there's our headshot camo. So we're done with that. I just need point blanks now, I think. Maybe our kills well detected too. That That's probably going to be a big one. So let's throw down this field mic here. That's why I have gearhead. So I can have two field mic's gone and there's one detected kill i'm stunning up here hopefully that's not a teammate i stunned i think it is but i'm just gonna start running and throwing these i'm not gonna do that bs gung-ho thing where you're just running around holding the stun and hip fire shooting I actually don't think it gives you any benefit anymore but i still have flashbacks to those days but we got shotgun hunter we're moving up and sweet sweet i don't even know the name of this gun street sweeper i don't even sharpshooter metal Jeez, my rating comprehension needs some work too there's a point blank. There's another one if we can hit a shot. Perfect. We'll take two point blanks there. But for a majority of the point blanks, which I think is probably one of the harder challenges in this game, we gave like Flora a lot of shit. You know, the detected kills and all that and kills behind cover a lot of shit. But those ones come pretty naturally while playing. Uh, for me, a hardcore player, getting real up close to somebody is like few and far in between. So I had to do a little bit of camping. I'm not proud of it, but it's a smart thing to do. Especially on these face-off maps, like on Amsterdam or here on KGB, like hiding. 
inside of these areas. Ooh, there's Cherry Blossom. We were just talking about it. But hiding inside of these doored areas where they have to walk through at small space, it's real nice for getting point blanks. That's what helped me out a lot to uh, raise the number. Because that was by far the, the challenge that I had the least done until I started like really like hyper focusing on them. I feel like that happens a lot when I'm grinding camos. Like I start out just like using the gun, like having fun with it, getting my bearings, getting used to it. And then it ends up that one challenge is so far behind that that's the only thing I end up doing till the weapon's done. But look, we have some more people using the striker. It's not that hard to find some other people using this thing in hardcore. It's basically taken over the mode. But after our first game, we completed two of the three things we got to do. How far did we get on our point blanks though? Is what I want to know. Oh, we're at 69. Don't say it. You're disgusting. You're gross. The hell, dude? Grow up. Oh, jeez. I just noticed that Killa's wearing the weed skin. And he's got the dark Aether ZRG. Why would you do that to yourself, Killa? All right. We're here on Yubon. And getting point blanks here is going to be a little difficult, I think. This is mainly the map that I would go to going for long shots. But we're going to have to do the opposite here. We're going to have to adapt. I could have backed out of the lobby, but I'm not a quitter. Unless we start getting fucked up, then I'm quitting the game. I promise you that. Oh, there's one and two kills there as well. Four kills. All right, we're in the perfect spot where we want to be. They're going to have to come out of one of these two spots. And if they pass by me without seeing me, like that guy, uh, I'm just going to kill him. But if they get any closer, they're getting point blanked. Please get closer. Even though I'm terrified. I don't know how that guy didn't kill me. I'm going to be honest. If I was that guy, I would be pissed. Was that any? Did I just get any there? No. I, under I, I can understand why this gun would be fun to use. It's really just destructive. But man, when, I, when I'm trying to get camos for it and I'm awful on the sticks, not that fun. The one thing I do really hate about this gun while using it is that the reload takes three fucking business weeks to finish. Like I'm still reloading here. This is only the 15 round mag too. Come here. That's a point blank. What? What happened there? I went to go shoot and I just teleported. Point blank, baby. Let's go. I don't even care if I get killed immediately after. As long as I'm getting progress, I got to be like one or two point blanks away. I feel like we've gotten at least three this game. So please let me get a little closer over here and somebody push right now. This corner is now my home. There we go. That's a point blank, baby. Is that it? No, we still need more. All right. And spawns flipped. Can I sneak up here without getting shot? I can, but I didn't get that much further. Okay. They got us locked down pretty good here. I got to... Figure out a plan to how to get a point blank. Maybe like this. Slide on through. They don't see me. There's a kill. There's another one. We made it up. Okay, we only have a few bullets in the mag. Maybe like four or five. We have to hold them here. Because if I go to reload, I don't have enough time to do any of that. Is that a point blank? No, that doesn't count. Oh, come on. I have like two more bullets in this mag. I do not have enough time to reload this thing. No! Oh, that sucks. I mean, teammate killed me, but I would have definitely died there. It does not matter that he shot me. He probably did me a favor. Let me out of my misery. All right, bro, I'm gonna need you to chill out. I need some of these kills too. Please, no camo curse. Let me get out of here with gold. No, what? What a reaction shot. Dude slid past me and still got me. Oh no, the camo curse. I gotta be one away. We're actually two away. All right, we're on game show now, so I just need two point blanks. Ooh, that was sick. That was not. Please stop killing me. I just need two point blanks, please. Go ahead, push through here, please. What do we got in here, actually? Barbecue chips. Potato chips, hot dog flavor. What the fuck? We got donuts. Uh, like a moon pie. Oh, come on, bro. This guy right here. That's a point blank. Almost whiffed it. Oh, and this guy right here. That's gold, baby. Let's go. Let's just get a few extra kills on top of it while we're getting gold, while the gold's unlocking. There it is. Let's go. The Street Sweeper is done. And I thought it would have happened faster, but no. This is probably the gun I struggle with the most so far. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at what gold looks like on the Street Sweeper here. And that is awful. That is atrocious. The barrel is scuffed to all hell. The biggest part of the gun gets no coverage and it just looks like shit. But let's go ahead and see what it looks like with a different blueprint. Okay, I don't think it works with this one. Any different with this one? Nope. Okay, well, this thing just looks like trash. All right, so this is gold. Absolutely disgusting. Gross. Does not look good at all. Diamond, definitely way better. Should definitely go off diamond. Why does diamond have better gold coverage than gold? Explain, riddle me this. What the hell? 
And then Dark Matter does not look great either. This is a bad coverage gun. I'm not going to lie, but let's go see if it looks any different in game. All right, this is what the Street Sweeper looks like in game with gold. I guess it looks a little better here just because it pops a little more when it's in your hands instead of just like viewing it on a menu screen. But it's still not great. It's not the greatest looking gun in the world. Throw gold on that drum mag, then we have a different story. Maybe buff out the paint, make it so it's not all scabby and it's scraped off. Definitely a different story there as well. But the gold coverage on this gun is hot dog ass. It's the coverage on this gun is worse than me on the sticks. And that's really saying something. This is ugly. This is not a good looking gun. But there you have it. Our first shotguns off the board. Street sweeper completed. Uh, it was a little messy, but we got it done. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So if you guys like this, if you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't, dislike if you're new here. Please consider subscribing for all kinds of COD content throughout the week. But that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.